Hello everyone, SMW Hacker 12 here. Um, I have a lot of information to say, and luckily I'm back. Um, as you can see, I have SD3 up, and um, before I get into all the other stuff, I just want to say that in between parts, since I have to start over um, for reasons that I'm not going to go into, um, I equipped headgear and everyone, or head armor, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, the other thing was that. Um, I was able to get my Dazzle to work on my new computer, which is an Alienware M14X, and it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I got it to work. It's pretty good. And I also got a Blue Yeti and really cool video editing software, but except when I, um, captured my video editing software, it was really bad quality and the sound didn't capture. But except for this, um, hopefully, well, I use Virtual Dub, which is a free program that it's pretty awesome. And that's what's working for me. And also, um, about Zelda's birthday, which... Okay, first let me switch to Kevin before I talk. Oh, wait. What? <coughs> well, um, I don't really know if I can do Zelda's birthday LP anymore, because... First of all, Project 64 has been crashing so many times, it's like, exception caught, exception caught. Uh, stuff like that keep saying that and I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's my plugins I've tried so many different plugins I just lost patience kind of if you guys know of any solutions then that would be pretty nice but um I guess we can leave now and probably just go speed the rest of this up with my awesome video editing software hoping that'll work <sighs> audio meter is gonna give me a seizure one second I'm just gonna turn it off volume meter um, no, I don't want the volume meter on. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't turn it off, so I guess I'll just be stuck here with it. Hmm. Which one should I level up for Hawk? Hmm. Oh, I keep saying, hmm. Maybe Vitality. Vitality is always good. <sighs> oh boy, it's so fun trekking through Hyrule Field. Did I just say Hyrule Field? Oh boy. What I meant was Golden Road. This is, gold this is Golden Road, and the music for it, for all these places like it, like there's gonna be Path to the Heavens sometime um, soon. Let's see if there's a treasure chest waiting to be opened. Not right here, no, but... Hopefully there will be soon. That is why you always want to stick around after clearing a screen. Because sometimes there are treasure chests and sometimes they can have like things that are really valuable. Like that you can only find the um, black or black market. But yeah. Why do I keep saying but yeah? <sighs> I'm kind of annoying. Okay. Let's just continue on. You guys are lucky that you get to watch this speed it up. Considering that I have to play through all this. Oh yeah, you know, I guess time I start talking about SD3. So the bridge broke so we can't get to 4C9 and talk to King Richard. Such a medieval name. Um, so we have to go to Bon Voyage and use his cannon. Not gonna give any spoilers. You guys should be happy about because I'm sure there are some people that probably do give spoilers and spoil it. Obviously. <sighs> okay, any more enemies? You usually don't want to run on a screen where your when your um, tech meter is full and um and there are more enemies in the screen because then you could accidentally do your tech and um well yeah you you usually don't want to do that. Okay, right, so here we are back at. Maya. So let's talk to Bun Voyage. Ah, there you are. <coughs> what the bridge fell down? Heck, time. Finally, time for my hyper deluxe special can v V2. Really? Just go out back. I'll be right there. Oh, you'd better be. It's been like five minutes so far. Uh, just thought that I'd squeeze that in there. Here it is, the ultra gorgeous Termo Cannon 2. And of course, he calls it different names each time. Oops. Gunpowder. Forgot about the gunpowder. This thing needs gunpowder. Could you folks get me some gunpowder? I'm too busy in my next adventure. Go on. Oh, yeah. If you want to just go right back to the um, cave, and if you like know already know what to do, well, you actually have to activate events, just like most things in the game. Of course, they're having big meaning here. Gunpowder, eh? Where? That's the thing about scientists. They only ever think of themselves. Well, I guess we could ask some of the other cheer town folk. And of course, it sounds, it sounds like my voice is sped up. Yes, I am good at doing that effect. It sounds like I'm using Windows Vista Movie Makers to speed it up. For me, it does. Oh, yes. Um, I think this is one of the guys that activates the event. Gunpowder. The dwarves would have that. They use it all the time to blast new tunnels. Entrance to their village is just before the bridge over the cleft of the earth. Good. Or so I hear. I've never been down there myself. Okay, so, um, <coughs> talk to this, um, gal. West of here, the golden road, the golden road has always been, yeah, 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 yeah. 
it's very useful information. Hmm. Let's talk to this person. I hear there's tw a colony of dwarf dwarves living in the cleft of the earth. Gunpowder, you should probably get that dwarf village. All right, so that's all the info that we need. So let's um, speed up this video and go through Golden Road once again. And now we can become werewolf Kevin, which does, and his stats increase like dramatically when he's a werewolf. So that's good. All right. <clears throat> Boy, you know, this one of the few things I don't really like. I don't trekking across, like, places like Path of the Heavens and Golden Road. Like, you have to do it, like, so many times, and it does get kind of tedious. And if you hear that background noise, it's my sister and a friend. And I had to restart this part because of them interrupting me, which... Uh, that's why I keep... Uh, that's why I need to get my own technology room. Of course, I have to use this loud, noisy, um, other room in my house, so... Yeah. Well, as you can see, we are drilling through this, um... We are drilling through Golden Road, which is good. Yeah, I guess it is. And that's because I have Kevin in my party. Kevin is awesome, but if you're... Like, if you want to do Durin scenario, then I suggest you have Durin, Lee's, and Angela. But I guess if you want to do Hawk scenario, then what I have is probably the best. I don't, I don't know. So I haven't used Parley, but that's because I don't want to. Because I, I can already get healing things, but whatever. Alright, so, Jilly. Yes, let's raise... Let's raise Jilly. Um, hmm. Uh, should we do Strength? Hmm. Let's do Luck. Luck is always good. Uh, is there a treasure chest anywhere? Nope. No treasure chest. Well, I guess it isn't that boring watching all these enemies burst into bones while being Kevin, listening listening to those critical sound effects. And yes, it is the sound effect for doing critical hit, but it isn't like a Final Fantasy critical hit thing. Oh, I hate when they use magic attacks this early in the game. No, this really isn't a magic attack. Why did, you, why did I call it a magic attack? There we are. Just drilling through this level. It's been nearly 10 minutes, so once we get to Dwarf Village, I might have to cut the video there. Oh boy. Oh, losing health here. Oh well. I almost be done with this. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, come on, I'm poisoned. Great. It's just fine. Okay, this guy should be finished soon. Good. Oh, my poison's gone. No treasure chest, unfortunately. Oh well, who cares? Nothing really we need here. Here we are in the cleft of the earth. Let's talk to the statue. Even though it's an inanimate object, and prove our prove ourselves crazy. Dwarf cave should be here. What will you do? Hmm, what will I do? Maybe the fairy will work. Hmm, I'm not feeling any energy from this. Whatever. Okay, so we, so that won't work. Hmm. Well, I guess we'd have to use Wisp. Finally, my turn. The gemstones in these walls are reflected. The dwarves are here. Been kind of lazy, tired. Ta-da! Here it is. Yes. Up to the entrance, so let's just go down the screen. Don't know if you'd call it a screen. And those um, paths up there, those, uh, excuse me, they're part of the dungeon that we're gonna go in, probably in the next part. And there's kind of a secret door here that you have to go through. And here we are, Dwarf Village. Whoa, humans, guess you saw the trick entrance, huh? Welcome to Dwarf Village. Why, thank you, kind. Pig, dude. Look more like pigs. Now, oh, whatever. Oh, right, well. Probably in the next part, we'll be um, updating our equipment, doing all sorts of stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I will. Um, <coughs> probably. Well, first, I'm gonna save. Good night. Enjoy your stay. Shoot. Wait. Did I? Did I say wake up at? Uh, no. At, in the morning. Shoot, why did I do that? Oh well. Save the game. And it looks like I managed to make it 10 minutes without um getting without dropping any frames, which is kind of amazing. So uh yeah, I will see you guys in the next part, which shouldn't be too long.